Welcome back everybody to Forza Motorsport, so we're continuing on with the German Rivals Championship, so uh, yeah, let's see what we've got in store for us, so we've got Circuit de Spa Frankenshop, or oh, Frankenshops, um, yeah, I'm probably mispronouncing that to be honest, uh, but yeah, regardless, um, four laps, um, quite a large circuit, it's easily one of the biggest ones on this, uh, on this game, uh, I think only Le Mans and Nurburgring are any bigger than this, so uh, yeah, we don't need to upgrade it because we're at the limit now, and because we don't have to deal with the stupid uh, point system on this uh, game anymore. So uh, yeah, we don't have to upgrade anymore. Obviously, if I find the car is, you know, not performing particularly well in a certain area, then we will obviously uh, swap something around. Opened in but 1922, Spa okay. is one of the Let's oldest tracks in the world. Away. A lightning-fast circuit with massive position. Nice mid-level uh, podium position, I've, uh, grid position uh, on the, this game, I find. So it looks like it's going to be raining. Yes, it's a little bit slick out there. Don't think we can change our tyres. No, we're staying in sport tyres, but there are there are at least you know road tyres at the end of the day. So yeah, four laps, forty percent fuel. Let's go. As you see, uh, that opponent there in first place had wet tyres on. We don't. Uh, but again, we are on sport tyres, and we are at the end of the day road tyres, and not fully slick, so we should be alright. The overdrive out of these.
more packs for this game. So we have had several broken now. I'd like to move, to be honest. Yeah, a little bit annoying getting
get stale here and there. One more lap. But I feel like I've changed that up enough by um, let's say the dark. Uh, I think you can change that up enough by choosing different cars for the lobby. change up the difficulty at, uh, at all. Good work um, out there. Again, we the AI P1. seem to have kept their vehicles quite on the down low in terms of the PI. Not sure why. But regardless, that gives us another 28 points, drawing us up to 84. So yeah, I feel if we can, you know, do any championship right now and change the difficulty, it will be, be this one. So uh, yeah, we'll go into the settings and change that. Healthy money there, so yeah, let's just quickly change up the difficulty. Right. Uh, settings. Uh, where is I think we can turn the car progression off now, can't we? Because we don't really need that. Considering we don't need to rely on those kind of things anymore. Uh, see, I've got play... Oh, drive, target designs, yeah, those off. Finally get rid of those. Um, where is the difficulty? Maybe it's at the start of a race. Yeah, it probably is. Nope, don't want to be in there. 
race career. Ah, difficulty. Up to seven. Right, let's see what that does. Oh, I don't think I saved it. Let's see what that does. So we're going to be on Hockenheim Ring now for four more laps. It looks like the rain has is persisting. Although it seems to be only drizzle this time, not an actual downpour. And we're on the national circuit, so not the longest circuit uh, version of Hockenheim Ring. I prefer the longer versions, to be honest, with that big long straight. You'll be uh, using many back, of the Hockenheim Ring's blue and white curbs on turn entries, apexes, and exits. And get but going. avoid hitting the red sauce. I'm going to say 12. Let's see what this does in terms of difficulty. Obviously, it could well be due to the fact that the cars aren't upgrading their vehicles. As you can see, they're still only more well, mid level B class to just under 580, whereas obviously I'm on 600, so uh, it could be down to that, but who knows. Right. I guess it also doesn't help that they don't change their fuel at all. They'll change the tyres, but as you saw there, that first place position still had 29 laps worth of fuel, which they really don't need, so that certainly doesn't help them. Turns out it can be lighter than they are, just to address them. Let's see. Pretty, really aggressive. No change so far. Now we drive a little bit like that.
quite clear how some of the be. that front but we at the end of the day still did win Good uh, work by today. nearly three seconds as well while having a comfortably the fastest lap as well so yeah and now we're the only ones above 100 we have now a uh, what, 26 point lead so I think even if we lost the next one badly then I don't think we'd have any issues Regardless, let's... Ah, oh yes. Now this is something I've wanted. Uh, obviously, Nürburgring has only been added in the last what, month or two. So yeah, we haven't actually been able to have these being put into the into the races. But I am surprised it's in a uh, rival uh, in a championship that was already on the game. So clearly they have changed it in the updates for those that haven't done these races before. So that's really really cool to be honest. So um, yeah. Top marks to turn 10 for doing that, at the very least. Oh yeah, Hockenheim ring wasn't in, was it? In the base game, I don't believe. Yeah, so that's something else that has happened. So yeah, they've clearly rejigged the tracks around in this championship. Now obviously you can, I believe, replay the championships. Um, once After you've epic completed races them. here at the Nürburgring Nordschleife, so, a short list of motorsports yeah. legends were nicknamed but I don't Ring believe I've ever been a race the on the Nürburgring before. I don't remember doing them on the previous Forza game. need a lot of fuel on this track because you are you know at high speeds for quite a, a large proportion of it and obviously at high speeds you are at higher revs and therefore using more fuel but this is going to be quite the um, traffic jam in some parts so we have to be quite wary of here
gaining on it but when we got to Nicely the hill done. we seem to have lacked enough we torque P2. to really get up there but still fun race and really rather nice to have it on um, have the Nürburgring in the championship finally so yeah there we go
but regardless of that second place position, we still hold first place by 30 points, and we are 33 points ahead of third. Uh, so, uh, yeah, pretty fun championship. I uh, really, really enjoyed the fact that Nurburgring was in there. That really made that championship, quite frankly, and it was really fun to uh, drive that BMW around there as well, which I'm really rather quite happy with in terms of the way I upgraded it. So, um, yeah, but nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.